take number two, but who's counting? Sorry guys, technical difficulties. We'll get it figured out. This is harder than it looks. Um, so I'm Brandy of Brush by Brandy, and today I'm going to be joined on the Dixieville page by Luann Parker of Rustic Journeys. Um, Rustic Journeys is a shop that carries Dixieville paint products, and go check out her Facebook page at Rustic Journeys, you guys. She does some awesome, awesome work. She has some great workshops going on in there. Um, you can go to the Dixieville paint page and see... Um, type in your zip code and it will tell you where your local retailers are. So today, me and Leanne are going to be working on, this is my piece here, and Leanne's going to have one too. Um, so what we're going to be doing is using, I'm going to be using Dixie Belle paint, and she's going to be using Voodoo Gel Stain to show you different ways that you can accentuate details in a piece. So this side I've done here in just the plain white, it's fairly plain, fairly simple. Um, but once I added a little bit of paint, it really acts as a frame to these doors. So I'm going to be doing this empty section here. I'm going to be showing you a different, uh, a few different ways to accentuate some details. You know, I've got a carving here that you barely notice because I don't have anything in there. Um, yes, sorry, you guys. Thank you everyone for, um, who was on and, and, uh, yes, I'm back. We're going to be really doing painting this time because I see the right button that I needed. Uh, we're also going to be giving away some Dixieville paint products today. We're going to spin to win. If you guys um, like this broadcast, share. Come on and talk with us. Hi, Edward. Hi, Diane. Hi, Sherry. Thank you for sharing. Yeah, just dis disregard the last one. Um, we're going to be giving away some Dixieville paint products. We'll choose someone live on the broadcast, and then we're going to spin for some awesome prizes, Dixieville paint, glaze, top coats. Um, so I'm going to invite Luann on, and then we're going to get – working and showing you guys how to accentuate your pieces. Okay, we ran on. So she should pop up any second now and then I'm gonna to apologize to her for messing it up. Um, yay, hi Dixie Bell, hi Amanda, hi Sherry. Yay, we're gonna to spin to win. You guys stay on and let me know if you have any questions. I have my 10 year old son Noah here with me today. Say hi Noah. Hello. And Noah's going to be reading comments for me and questions. So let me know if you have any questions at all. And um, you know, we'll be glad to answer them. I'm just waiting for Luann to pop in. Um, she's going to accept my invite. Um, yes, Holly. So what we're going to be doing, I have a few Dixie Bell paint products today. So what I have on my piece right now, I have a base of um, Dixie Bell Boss because this was a, a, an oak piece. And when I was cleaning it with my Dixie Bell White Lightning, it just kept running dirty, which tells me it's going to be a bleeder. So I did go ahead and give it a coat of Dixie Bell Gloss and White. And then I've got a base of, um, oh, Noah, Ann says hi. Can you say hi? Hello. Um, I've got a base of Dixie Bell Drop Cloth. Drop Cloth is like one of my favorite Dixie Bell Whites. Um, I also have cotton now. I might throw some cotton in there for a really clean, crisp white. Um, and then right now I don't have any stormy seas on, but I'm going to use some stormy seas, which is kind of a, um, kind of a dusty blue with some gray undertones, maybe a slate blue it would be considered. So I'm going to be using that. Um, let's try again inviting Luann on. Uh, okay, I'll try again. Hopefully that'll work. Uh, Luann, it should be opened up for you. So we'll just keep hanging out, waiting for Luann to come on. Um, I also have out some Midnight Sky, which is a nice um, black with some blue undertones in it. So this might be good for shading on the white. And then these are some custom mixes. And what I do with my Dixito paint is once I'm done with the color, I wash out the containers. And um, I use them for mixing colors in. And they're great for storing it. So these are some custom mixes. This is one I've done before, which has has five colors in it. Um, this is Bunker Hill Blue, Evergreen, Peacock, um, Caviar, and Mermaid Tail are in this one. And then this is a Bunker Hill Blue and Midnight Sky mix here. Um, it's kind of a navy blue, although Dixieville has a new navy coming out and you wouldn't even need to use this mix. Um, we have some new colors coming out in the um, beginning of July. So, yeah, you guys, absolutely. These containers are so handy. I never throw them away. Um, I keep all, all three sizes. This is their 8-ounce size, but they also come in a 16 and a 32, and I keep them all, and I, 
um, old paint cans, if you've ever had them, the tops start rusting out on them and then your paint gets junky. And that's one thing I super appreciate about how Dick Bell packages their products is I don't have that problem. Not only does it keep my paint, but these containers are totally reusable. So, um, so those are my colors. And let me show you guys what brushes I have on the eBay. Um, There's nothing on your page. That's what it says. Um, Luann, go into the Dixie Bell page. There's nothing on her page for you to join. Let's see. Are you on the Dixie Bell page? Sorry, sweetie, this is the hardest part. I swear, after this, it gets easier. Um, so I've got a bunch of stuff out here today. You can see, so um, one thing I would compare this look to is, is using chalk paint, which is a water-based paint, using it like a watercolor paint. Have, if you guys have ever experimented with watercolors, you can get a similar result with um, the water-based Dixie Bell as you can with a, with a, a um, a watercolor paint. No, that's not what I can understand. So when I'm doing a look like this, you'll see I'm going to be using a lot of water. So I have my spray bottle out here. I also have a spray mister. So the difference with the mister is, I don't know if you can see this. Yeah, you can barely see it. it um, these are actually for hairstylists. You can get them on Amazon, and it just puts out a very light mist versus, versus this which will give you a, you know, a visible, a, you know, even on, even on the mist setting, it still is very visible. Um, ooh, put Vaseline on the lid. Oh, I like that. I like that tip. That makes sense. Put some Vaseline on the lid when you open it. Um, Cause what does happen is sometimes these will get stuck here. I'll show you my cotton. It's all gummed up. I'm not a clean painter. I paint right out of the container. It's stuck. I can't open this. So what I take and I just do one bang on the concrete and I can open it. So it just unsticks any, you know, all this residual that's around the lid here. Uh, we're still hanging out waiting for, for Luann, you guys. She's on and looking for our join. I've got it opened up to her. So um, let's talk brushes for a second. I've got just about everything out here today. Okay, so um, I'm going to be using a whole bunch of different brushes. You'll see I've got a lot of rounds out today. And the reason I chose my rounds is because I'm going to be doing a lot of like swirling effects, you'll see. And I just like that these have a nice full brush head. This is a Dixie Bell brush, which I love. Um, I've also got my um, these are zebra brushes, and they're round tip brushes, super soft. I like the coarser brush. I'm going to be um, using some dry brushes, some wet brushes. Um, so you'll see just about everything. I also love their two-inch chiseled wedge. But I've got both of my Dixie Bell brushes out today. And I really like these. I've already used this one, as you can see. Um, so I'm going to be going with those. So I got out everything. I also have out my Klingon. This is the S50. This is their shorty brush, and it's also got a nice wide head on it. Very um, soft but thick bristles. Um, are you guys not getting any sound? You're getting feedback, huh? You have no sound. Does anyone have sound? You know what? It might be a good sign that Luann is coming on. Ooh, the Klingon. So I have the Klingon. Sound isn't good. Don't turn the sound off on there. Um, I'm going to have my son turn the sound off on my laptop and see what mm -hmm. oh, You have sound. Okay. Um, I'm hoping you guys that Lu Luann is. Um, coming on into the broadcast and that could be what the, the sound issues are is once she pops on, it kind of mutes me a little bit to bring her sound in. So I'm wondering if she might be popping in pretty soon. Definitely hear you screeching across for I know. 
Okay, so I've got just about every brush out here today, you guys. And, and, and all of them, all, all these brushes, you know, from a flat brush to a round brush have different uses. And it's always good to have everything in your toolbox that you might need. So I don't know exactly what I'm gonna, um, what I'm gonna use today. Yeah, I do have my laptop going in the background, you guys. Um, I just turned the volume off on that. Hopefully that can help. Okay, where can we get the point on? Dixie Bell has the S50 on the Dixie Bell website, you guys. I put the link in the um, headline of this broadcast. So you can you can order the Klingon from Dixie Bell now. Awesome. Along with the Dixie Bell brushes that you're gonna see I'm using today. So the difference between these is the Klingon, these are synthetic bristles. The nylon bristle versus the Dixie Bell brushes have a natural bristle. So you wanna care for these a little bit differently when you wash them out. Um, you wanna treat them a little bit gentler. Um, whereas this is a synthetic bristle. It's not going to wear away, but you don't get the effect of a natural bristle. So again, it's all about having the right tools for your, um, for your job. So you guys, you got the Mr. Bottle? Elaine. They're super cool, huh? I finally got one too. And I got it in bright pink so I can find it anywhere in my brush. The Klingon is available for Dixie Bell. I'm not sure my sound should be the same. Um, time. Yes, that this um, Klingon does hold a lot of paint. It's a nice thick brush. It does hold a lot of paint. So this is one of my favorites, which is a two-inch chisel web, and you can see that it's very similar. They both hold a lot of paint. These are great for laying on your paint, your, your base coat. These are great for laying it on versus some of these, which are great for detailing. You could use the bigger Dixie Bell brush for um, I'm waiting for Luann to come on. You guys, I'm not seeing her. Luann, are you there, sweetie? I opened up the broadcast. I sent you an invite. So let me know if you can find me. We're just waiting for her to join. So I'm going to talk to you guys a little bit about brushes. Um, I'll go ahead and start bringing you guys in and start working on my piece a little bit. And then as soon as I see Luann pop up, we will get her in on here to paint with us. So this is my piece here. This is an, um, an old buffet. And like I said, um, this was oak. When I cleaned it with the white lightning, can she find you? I don't know if she can find me. I don't know. I sent her the invite. I'm on the Dixie Bell page, Luann. If you can go on the Dixie Bell page and go into the broadcast, um, you should be able to click to accept my invite. Oh, Denise, you just ordered your mister. Yeah, they do. They come super fast. Huh? These are like $10 on Amazon, but it gives you a very fine mist, which can save you from getting water spots on your feet. Um, I apologize for the delay, you guys. Um, all right, we're still working on getting the land on. So, I do like to with um, white lightning, um, and it kept running dirty. My towel just kept wiping dirty, wiping dirty, which tells me my piece is going to be a bleeder. If that's likely not dirt on your piece, that is a bleeder. Okay, this time here, that's when I see. Let me move you guys closer. Hopefully that helps. I had a microphone. It lasted for one use, and it broke, so I have to order a new one again. Okay, um, so I cleaned it with white lightning. I put a base of Dixie Bell Boss on. Dixie Bell Boss is their, um, is their stain blocking and odor blocking primer. So it, it's a, let me see the green button. I don't have the green button. I think Luann has the green button. Um, I put it on so viewers can request to join, and I also sent her a specific invite too. I did both of these. Can you hear me? Oh, a viewer wants to be on my broadcast. I bet you this is her. Wrong viewer. With someone else. Deborah. Okay, I'm going to talk as loud as I can. Um, My microphone on my phone is totally exposed. There's nothing near it. 
you know, have a dark time. You have no sound. I'm hoping that's because people are trying to join the broadcast, you guys, that the sound is messed up. So I want this to be good. So please hang in there with me, you guys. We're going to do some painting. It's going to be worth it. Not softer, but you can hear me. I think it's because people are playing in the broadcast, you guys, and trying to join um, that it gets a little spotty, and that's because it's trying to add the lamp into my sound. So anyway, I have a coat of Dixie Bell Boss on here in white, which is their stain blocking and odor blocking primer. My base color on here is Dixie Bell Drop Boss. This is my favorite white. Um, it's not a clean, crisp white like cotton is. Can you see the difference there? Um, I also have cotton now because I might add some crisp white. Um, after the boss, yes, I do give it a white sanding. This is the sanding. So I'm not actually sanding. I'm probably more just washing. I just give it a single pass. That's just knocking down any dust particles that might be stuck in there. Um, I'm speaking in louder. Oh, sound is better. Okay, I think people are, are playing in the broadcast. You guys are trying to add the way in here. Um, all right, let's try to blow the microphone. So hang on, guys. I was probably really unhungry for you guys, so I'm sorry. But I'll do anything that will help. So yes, I did give it a light house with a sanding sponge. Um, I'm just knocking down any um, dust particles. So this one here is an 80 grit, but it's so worn. And, and I wash these out in the sink with soap and water. So the grit gets worn down. This is probably like a 220. Yeah, it's probably a 220 now. Um, let me go in and see if I can invite Luann again. Hang on, guys. I'm searching right now to add Luann into my broadcast. Hang on, Luann. I'm going in and searching for you. I should have already sent you one, but I'm just going to chat. Hang on, guys. Oh, this is terrible. Um, so I showed that I've already sent her one. I've also opened it up to viewers to request to be on the broadcast. So can she go in and request as a viewer? I showed that I've already got a request out to her. Thank you, Betty. Thank you, Susan. Thank you, Deborah. Um, so I'm going to start. with my um, Stormy Seas, Dixie Bell Stormy Seas, which is a, it's a blue with a slight gray undertone. Um, it's kind of a slate blue, I guess is what you'd probably call it. So what I have on here right now is these more teal blues, and I want to tone them down into the grays. Um, do I always paint with my doors and drawers? And I get that question a lot. So you can see these, these ones here, when I was doing a solid base coat, I took all these out. This has kind of popped out a little bit. Took all of them out, coated all around it. But for this look right now, I'm going to be I'm going to be blending across the front of it, and I want a consistent look. So I've got my drawers back in, so I can see. Um, you know, I don't want there to be a harsh transition where I did the bottom of the drawer and didn't do onto the piece. So for blending, I'm going to keep my um, going to keep my drawers and drawers on my piece. When I'm just doing a solid color, I do not. Um, if I can invite her, okay, I'm going to try to invite Luann on again. Uh, it shows me she's already got a request. I can't invite her again. It just shows request. So 
will. Another option, I, if you guys, if you will let me know and I can go off and we can come back on if she wants to request me, we can try it that way. Let me know. Oh, I have a request. Let's see. No, but that at least tells me that um, viewers can request to, no, it doesn't give me the option to cancel it. Oh, yeah, I know. Watch it later. I don't see to get through this first 10 minutes now. <laughs> Sorry, guys. So I'm going to start up here on the floor. I just don't want to leave you guys hanging while we're waiting here. I can go off and come back on again if you don't want. No, buddy, I can't cancel it. Um, so I've got my basic drop cloth on here. I'm going to use a lot of water. I won't even tell you guys every time. But you guys are going to see me pick up my water bottles. I, this piece is going to be wet the entire time I'm working on it. I also have a rag because some of what I'm doing is going to be a wash. A wash is when you put your color on, um, you put your color on, and then brush it all over your piece, and then you literally wipe it back. You're washing your piece in the color. Um, drop cloth is my base, and then I've got a mix of um, this is a mix of five different Dixiebel colors, although you can get a fairly similar color with Bunker Hill Blue and Mermaid. I'll give you the simple mix. And then this is a mix of Bunker Hill Blue and Midnight Crack. Um, and what I do is I save my Dixiebel paint containers and I wash them out and I use them for custom mixes, for storing my custom mixes. Okay. So I'm going to start here with my... Um, I'm going to get my piece nice and wet. In fact, for this one, I'm actually going to use my spray ball because I want I want a watercolor type of that. And then I'm going to start with my my mix. And I'm going to say this mix is pretty close to. Um, I mean, um, this mix is probably pretty close to Bunker Hill Blue and Mermaid Tail. Mine's got five colors in it. I just took a long way That's my style. Um, you guys, I apologize. We're, we're waiting for Luann Parker of Rescue Journeys to come on and join us. Hopefully, she'll pop up in a second. And in the meantime, I'm going to start painting for you guys. That's what I'm going to see right here. Let me see what I'm um, Have you guys ever worked with watercolors? I'm comparing this look to working with watercolors. So, if you've got experience in watercolor painting, I do, you guys. I got the pink mister so I can find it in my garage, so I can look across my garage and spot it anywhere. So this is going to be what a color was. I have I, all I had was one dab of this blue paint color, and I put a ton of water, and I'm literally going to wash it all over my. I want to get a faint haze. It looks worse before it gets better. And I'm going to take my rag, and this thing is an old detail. My paint is not sealed, you guys, and I didn't seal really this because I want the color to mm -hmm. stick. No, you got to put mumbling, sweetie. I can't. Mm -hmm. So that just gave me a nice haze of blue over the top of my paint. My paint is unsealed. It's stuck in every little crevice. But now I'm going to come back, and I'm going to strengthen it in some spots. That's why we can hear your son. Yeah, my son is mumbling in the background. He's trying to reach out to me, but it's more. So then I'm going to take this blue mix. Again, I just dabbed it in very lightly, and I'm, I have barely have any paint on my brush. And I'm just going to kind of bring this into some areas. This is probably a little stronger than I want from the white paint. I'm going to add some water. So that was just a mess of the look, just a faint spray. So this look, I don't want a full ombre. I want it to be kind of random. So I'm going to add it into some spots. I'm not going to be even in all of them. Some of them I'm going to leave plain. I'm going to take my dry Dixie Bell brush now, and I'm going to brush this out. So that was my dry brush, and you can see down here, it just really blurred that edge. To do the same thing here. This is a dry brush. I didn't dip it in paint. It doesn't have any water in it. It's just working whatever's on my surface. 
getting a little sticky, so I'm going to add some water from my mixer. I'm working this out with a dry brush. So this would be another blending technique that you can use, um, is to just introduce a dry brush with no paint on it, and use that to work your paint into the surface. See how it just smooths the edges of that? Got a little too much paint up here, so I'm going to wipe this back. So I'm doing a combination of brushing and washing. I paint starting to set up up here, and I don't want it to, so I'm going to keep it wet so I can play with it. As long as you keep your paint wet, this has a really long open light. So you can come back and work this as much as you want. Um, again, I'm just working this with a dry brush. This is my Dixie Belle brush, the natural bristle brush. Yeah, this that brush when it's nice and um, nice and dry. So then up here, for my I'm gonna bring it on the floor. Um, I'm gonna introduce some of my dry cloth. I'm gonna introduce it on another dry brush. This time I'm gonna use my clean on to see what happens with that. If I had, you know, three Dixie Belle brushes, I'd probably use so I'm going to introduce some of the white to soften this line at the top right here. So this white is acting kind of like my eraser, I guess, if you would. I'm erasing the heavy spot. Blending it out into the blue. My brush is fairly dry. I've only got a tiny bit of paint just on the tip. Um, I can't really see that sign, so I'm really focusing on the center right now. I'm going to clean this up a little bit here. So going back to the white, which is my base color, is, is really a, um, it's actually going to erase it. I clean up this transition here. This is a really a fairly dry brush. You can't see any wet paint on there, um, but it's thick. You can use this swirling motion. You can see how nice and soft that edge is here. No fingers on the microphone. It's just my phone holder. Ready by the spray bottle. So this is a Mystic spray bottle. These are hair stylist spray bottles. So, um, but as painters, we need them too. So don't give them just for hair stylists. These are for painters. These are available on Amazon. Um, go search on Amazon for, what was it called? A stylist sprayer, I think is what it was called. You guys, she's joining. Blue Ann is coming on. Ready? Are you guys ready? Oh, you're there. I told you. Hello. <laughs> oh, Luann, I'm so sorry. Have you just spent the last this 20 minutes stressing? I'm so sorry. Okay, one second. Okay. From the volume, I can't hear her. You guys, it's complicated getting somebody else onto the broadcast. We both have to be working Please on it. Dixie Give me one second. You guys, you take your you take your time. I'm just so happy to see you. You have no idea. Whatever you need. I told you this is going to be an issue. I knew this was going to be an issue. Oh my goodness. Yeah, the sound is better. I'm telling you guys, it was because we were trying to add someone else into the broadcast. It's a big delay. It's okay. We're on now. That's all that matters. People can watch this on replay and just skip over the first 20 minutes. Turn your off, Sam. You take your, you take your time. I'm just. Dixie Bell, thank you so much. Natalia, mm -hmm. thank you. Whoever's working behind the scenes, who's on today from Bixieville? I don't even know. I'm assuming it's Natalia. Thank yes, you guys so much for helping. It's stressful. <sighs> You're okay. You're on now. This is the easy part. You paint all the time. Yeah, well, you know, I don't know what happened, and I don't know. I went in some back way. I don't know. I just went in like yeah. I was a regular viewer, just Googled it, and it 
popped up. So I'm like, hallelujah. Perfect. That's perfect. Whatever works. I'm telling you. <laughs> so where would you like me to begin? <laughs> so show, show me what you're working on. What do you got? You have a cute chair there. This is the most adorable little high chair I've had tucked away for the longest time. And everyone oh, I thought it was a rocking chair. I mean, high chair. It's, not rocking high chair. Chair. it's been one okay. Of those so this little high chair um, is just, I love press back chairs. Everybody knows there's, I have certain things, milk glass, blue mason jars, press back chairs. And when this little adorable high chair came our way, I couldn't say no to it. But it's been sitting back in the back room for the longest time waiting for the right moment. And this is the right moment. So, so press back, when you say press back, you're talking about the, the scroll work that's on the back, the chair back. Yep, right in there. All that scroll work. And what I love to do when I have a lot of that detail work, I really like to accentuate it and bring it out. A lot of times folks like to use, you know, our glazes for that. And I go a different direction. I actually use voodoo gel stain instead of a glaze. Ooh. Well, yeah, okay. Yeah, I mean, the reason for it is a lot of times folks come to me and they, they like the idea of grunge, but it's too direct for them. Like this is a grunge glaze over fluff, and Van Dyke is obviously not the direction they want to go in. So yeah. do the grunge, they're like, well, that's a little too blackish, dirtyish, and they're looking, what they're looking for. They're looking for more crisp, like manatee gray like we have. So I thought, oh, yeah. So this is like, you know, our up in smoke voodoo and i thought well it's water-based so, it so what what prep work, what prep have you done to your piece okay so absolutely the prep that i've done so far first thing we did we cleaned with white lightning okay of course the piece before we got started had some scuffed areas but there was a lot of really slick areas still so knowing that there's all this detail and all this work and all of the spindles I wasn't about to sand it. I have to be honest. I'm not going to sand it. I want the easy peasy way out. So the easy peasy way out was da 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 slick stick. Slick stick. It is. Like I hear you. Johnson. So so slick stick, you guys, is a Dixie Belle product made for painting slick surfaces. So glass, PVC, formica, um, anything, even some of your furniture that just has a glossy finish on it. It's perfect for that. Exactly. So. Case in point, went ahead and did two coats of slick stick. The first coat, you put it on, um, wait a couple hours, then you put the second coat on and let it dry overnight. <laughs> so after you let it dry overnight, then you're ready to paint. So we went ahead and painted and we used fluff. And what I like about fluff, because I'm gonna work with the up and smoke gray, is that fluff has yeah. a beautiful gray undertone already to it. And it's not a bright, bright white. Yeah. So that's why we use fluff. Um, Dixie Belle has a great line of whites in their line. There's virtually every shade. So you've got the fluff. This is the cotton. There's drop cloth. Um, but they have, you know, pretty much the full range of whites that you could want. Right. So then after we went ahead and put our two coats of fluff, I went ahead and did one step that most people don't think about when they're adding dimension, when they're glazing. And what I did at that yeah. point is I went ahead and I did already one coat of satin clear coat. Um, yeah, I, that's something a lot of people get confused on is you guys, if you seal your paint, uh, chalk paint is porous. And so whatever you put on top of it, it's going to absorb it right away. So whatever you put over your, your coat, if it's, um, you know, a glaze or a, a stain or the um, whatever you, an, another color paint, it's going to absorb that and you won't be able to wipe it back. So with that clear coat on top, you're going to have control over. Exactly. Yeah. And that's basically the stuff I'm at now. So I was going to demonstrate putting another coat of, of satin on, but realistically, it already has a coat of satin. So for our, our time's sake, since it took so long to get online, obviously, um, what I can do is go ahead and just start adding in um, my gray um, up in smoke uh, water-based gel state and start bringing out the dimension and accentuate all of yeah. these um, detailed pieces. 
So someone had some questions on the open time of the gel stain. I've never used the gel stain for that. So what do you find that it has a long open time that you can work it and wipe it back without it starting to set up? Well, what I do is I work in small sections. So I won't do this whole okay. piece and then wipe it back. I'll work in small sections and wipe it back because you're right. It can have a setup time where it'll it'll dry pretty quickly, but you definitely want to make sure you let it dry overnight. If you decide, for example, this piece, I'm going to gator hide over the over the um, stain once I'm done because it is a piece that's going to get a lot of use, a lot of wear and tear. So yeah. I want to make sure I give it a nice durable finish, especially the little tray. For eating on. Yeah, that's a great tip too because um, it's a it's a high chair and it's a child's high chair and you're gonna want to wipe it down if it's being used from food and and fingers and things like that. So yeah, um, Gator Hide is a super durable top coat for things like that. Absolutely. And so yes, the the whole piece has already been one coat of satin clear coat, already done. Okay. And then I heard you talking about brushes um, while I was getting on. So what do you have out? Well, realistically, you can use any brush. You can use a chip brush if yeah. you like. I yeah. do usually use a chip brush um, when I'm using glaze because I like the texture. But yeah. for this piece specifically, I like our Dixie Bell Bell brush yeah. for this activity because I'm able, because it's chiseled, I can actually get right into those nooks and crannies and just kind of work it all over. This usually scares the daylights out of my customers when we do classes with them because they've spent all the time painting a cabinet door and painting and then they come back and they're like, what did you just do? And I said, wait, it's magic. I say that all the time. It always gets worse before it gets better though. And, and that's right. Even distressing, like I have a hard time taking a piece of sandpaper to a coat that I've worked so hard on, but it, it looks better in the end. Absolutely. And you just use as many wipes as you need. I I have this thing about wipes. I don't know what it is, Brandy, but I'm starting to even kind of paint with them a little bit with doing washes. Yeah. Oh, Ooh, I, that's a good idea. Like, so what do you wipes. have? Just, just, just a regular baby wipe. Yeah, these happen to be dollar dollar store wipes. We use them. There's a dollar Fancy. store. Who's that book? So um, the same thing that Luann's doing with her gel stain, you guys, I'm going to be doing over here with paint. So I'm using my my bell brush. I'm using Dixie Bell Stormy Seas oh, and water. And I'm brushing it into this detail spot right here. Only my paint is not sealed because I want it to be dirtier. Um, Luann, tell me about your shop. So where are you guys located? We are located um, in Central Florida. We are just oh, okay. northeast of Orlando. Um, if anybody has heard about a little football team over at UCF, University of Central Florida, we're not far from there at all. So it's a little suburb called Oviedo. It's actually becoming very large now. And yeah. um, we're in a traditional shopping mall. So realistically, the store is open until 9 p.m. every day and Sundays 10 to 6. Oh, that's incredible. Oh, we don't have anything like that in a shopping mall. Yeah. So you, 72 hours a week, but um, we have in the back of the store, so the store is all to the front. In the back here, this is our classroom area. So this is typical of what it looks like back here. We have our bifo bottles filled with paint and all of our brushes and everything we need for our classes here. You have the most beautiful paint display I've ever seen. Aw, thank you. Um, so what kind of classes do you guys do? Well, our primary classes have always been uh, bring your own furniture. Okay. And we offer that twice a month. The class, you know, we tell, we say it's like the concierge of painting classes because folks will come in with a small piece of furniture that brought through the mall. And we, we really keep the class small, like four to six people maximum. Because realistically, what we want to do is spend time, my husband and I, spend time working with them, taking them through the entire process of cleaning, prepping, painting, distressing, sealing, the whole nine yards. So we do that. So that's one of our main classes. We do those twice a month. We also do wood signs. So we do staining and stenciling wood signs where we will use voodoo gel stain as well as the no paint gel stain. And we use traditional stencils. Um, it's a girl's okay. night out. You drink a UI and a little wine or what have you. Get on a whiny wench and get something. And they have a great time doing that. And then we just throw in crafts 
um, some make and take items, and we're going to start doing more advanced series. Okay. So when you do a class, do you traditionally do it, do the piece start to finish if they bring their own? Yes. Yep. We do. We do. And sometimes folks, you know, it depends on how large the piece is. Um, depends on how large the piece is. Sometimes they might have to leave yeah. overnight and come back the next day. Sam, hold on, Sam, come in closer because they want to see the detail. Okay. Oh, that's better. That's so much better. Right there, Sam. Good job. Good bunch. Good job. <laughs> <laughs> a lot of the retailers know Sam because we presented our Dixie Bell Retailers Conference. So last year, um, he got to go fishing. Uh, but the year before that, we were a, a dynamic duo presenting together. But he's my partner oh, in crime. Really? He can do it without him. So yeah, that's my husband, too. A shout out to all of the supportive husbands out there, you guys. Who couldn't run their business without a supportive spouse? Husbands and wives. There's some supportive wives out there, too. Yep, we do have, yep, you got it. So, guys, all I'm doing is just removing what I don't want with the wipey. That looks so good. From what it was before, you didn't even notice those carvings were there. Yeah. And quite honestly, um, you know, on our page, we posted a photo of it just in its natural state before even painting. And it, it, you really couldn't tell much about the carvings then either. Yeah. And how many people have those, um, those old oak, like, dining chairs that have that same press back? Yeah. Yeah. And this is a way to totally make them over. And it... it I mean, just modernizes those chairs. Mm -hmm. And this will dry overnight and darken up a little bit. Tell them it's the voodoo, not the gel. Yeah, this is not the gel stain. This is the, let me bring up the pretty one, not the messy one. The voodoo, no pain, I mean, the voodoo gel stain up in smoke. It's the gray one. It comes in gray, uh, tobacco road, and it comes, which is a brown, beautiful shade of brown. Then it comes in a Bayou Moss, which is a pretty green, and there's two new colors coming out. There's going to be a beautiful black and a temptress teal. You guys are going to want to check out the Dixie Bell pay or the Dixie Bell site um, and your local retailers. Go on and find them because in the in the beginning of July, there's a whole bunch of new products coming out. Yeah, there's four yeah. new colors coming into the line. Some new gilding waxes, some new gel stains. Yeah. And as a premier retailer, we're going to definitely have that in our store. Yes. Um, so the premier retailers like Luann is, you guys um, carry most of the line. They have it in stock. Um, so that's what she's um, saying with referring to a premier retailer. Um, so I'm, I'm kind of doing the same thing. I'm just using, I have Stormy Seas and then a couple of mixed blues going on here accentuating the detail so I had this little emblem on the center of my piece that was pretty unnoticeable and then this carving detail here pretty I mean you can even go in and do your spindles oh yeah oh I like that yeah let's leave it that way though <laughs> there you go what else could you use the gel stain for? Karen, you can use the gel stain for um, uh, staining wood. Wood stain, you can use it like Luann's using it, like a glaze. Um, you can, I mean, what what else, what, what other things do you use the Voodoo gel stain for? Well, in our store, we make, um, we have a, well, we're a co-op, like most um, stores are nowadays. And we have folks that create farm tables so we stain all of our farm tables with Dixie Bell products and then give them a very good coating of Gator Hine. Um, but here's an example of one of our signs that we do in our stain and stencils. So again, it's just a 12 oh, by 12 pretty. board, just a board. And it's coated, this is two coats of the Voodoo uh, gel stain and up in smoke, the same color I'm using right now. Yeah, and I like the Voodoo gel stain because it comes in some non-traditional stain colors, like the teal that's coming out. Um, there's like the the um, the gr shades of green and gray, so you can really get there. It's great for signs for sign making. Ooh, yeah. Ooh. Okay, so that's really pretty. What color? What 
What paint colors are on there? Okay, so this is a cabinet door that we've painted. We went ahead and used um, drop cloth was my base. And then Voodoo okay. Gel Stain is great when you put it over a painted um, surface as well. So that's Okay, is, is, that, is that with sealant on it or unsealed? Um, this one has one coat of gator hide. I didn't go all the way with three coats. Okay. It's one of our classes. We teach a class on how to paint cabinets. This is taking it to an extreme with the distressing and, and showing that style. But folks come to us and they tell us what they're trying to achieve in painting their cabinets. And a lot of times I teach this um, technique because they want to have that crisp white cabinet, but they want to get into the detail, you know, and have the, the glazing in the lines. Absolutely. That look is super popular. You can go to Lowe's or Home Depot and see they've got those cabinets. And instead of replacing your cabinets, you can just give them a makeover with a similar look. Absolutely. absolutely. Um, and this is just a cabinet door doing the same process. It was drop cloth and then using tobacco road over it. And I just used the blue sponge and wiped it on with the blue sponge. Over um, the, the blue the blue sponge is the Dixie Bell application sponge. Those are also available on the Dixie Bell page mm -hmm. and they make it super easy. You can literally just wipe your top coats on you guys mm -hmm. instead of brushing them on and then you eliminate your brush strokes too. Yep. Um, Luann, how long has your shop been open? Okay, can you believe we are turning three? We're going on wow. our third year. We're That's about a huge milestone. It is. You guys should really be proud of that. Okay, and then to tout Dixie Bell just a little bit here. I a, a little bit. That's little what we're here to do. You know, just a little bit. I started off yeah, as a Dixie bit. Bell retailer probably six months after they had, I mean, they had 30 colors when I started. And now we're at 60 really? colors about. And, wow, um, and, and that's all only three years ago. Really? Exactly. I mean, that's is, that, is that right? Somebody wants to know if you gator hide after on your cabinet. So, yeah, I always use gator hide on my cabinets afterwards. Always. Yeah. Um, but gator hide is your best option for cabinets, for dining room tables, for things that are going to get heavy use. Luann's um, high chair she's got there. I like it on, on my dresser tops. Um, it's a great durable top coat. Yeah. This is gator hide in case y'all are curious. Um, so that'll go on at the end. Um, so yeah, with Dixie Bell, we started off, like I said, we were in a co-op in, in a, you know, in another in nearby co-op, and we actually started with less than, I would say, 15 colors, maybe, if we were lucky. We didn't have the whole theory at that point, and we've just grown. Wow. I mean, think about that. In, in only three years, how big this, how big Dixie Bell has become. Absolutely. It's a great paint, you guys. It just took that time for people to catch on that this is a great product. Yeah, and we are ranked number two in Florida. Really? Mm hmm That's huge. Congratulations. Thank you. We have worked really hard to share our love for refinishing furniture in a new way, in an exciting way, and it's just really catching on. It's got to be those 72-hour weeks, right? Yeah, I'm thinking maybe. <laughs> Uh, yeah, that probably has something to do with it. No, but yeah. did you start out as a furniture painter? No, my whole life no. was in corporate and ed actually education. And then I slipped into the corporate realm and in, uh, in education and just had the opportunity to kind of say, I'm done with all of this. This is my someday dream. So it was really a hobby at first. Yeah, yeah. Um, I think that that's such a familiar story for a lot of people. Yeah, I mean, we were getting, the, Sam and I, this is our second marriage for each of us. So it started off as a <clears throat> journey, if you will. And yeah. um, the name Rustic Journeys actually came from the sense that we like rustic furniture, but it was a journey. We started off painting stuff for our wedding and doing all of our wedding decorations. Okay, fine. Fast forward friends or can you paint this will you paint that can you paint this yeah and then as we started to learn about each person the furniture they gave us to paint had a special meaning to them which is why they wanted yeah. to and not throw it out and so we realized yeah. 
they were people on their personal journeys, whether it was a piece that was given to them when they were married or whether it was that they were going through a divorce. And so she wanted a whole new bedroom set. It we became part of people's lives and their journeys. So rustic journeys. I absolutely love that story. I love that story. And what a personal touch to your business name too. Yeah. But, but yeah, those are some of the most special pieces that we get to work on. I think our family pieces that have meaning behind them. Mm -hmm. I agree. Yeah, I agree. So if you're just tuning in, I'm using the um, voodoo gel stain and up in smoke. My piece has already been painted. It's already in fluff. It's been already um, one coat of satin clear coat because that's what's making it easier for me to remove the up and smoke and work it kind of like a glaze. And yeah, so, so that's an interesting point because do you notice how clean and crisp um, Luann's lines are with her, um, her up and smoke? So I did not seal my piece. And you see how it's dirtying up my white paint? So that's the difference between sealing mm -hmm. your paint before you apply, a, you know, whether it be a color wash or a glaze or whatever, um, is whether you get that those clean, crisp lines, because you can wipe it back, or like mine, which has a, you know, has a residual that's left all over the top of it. Just depends on the look you want. And a little bit goes a long way. I poured way too much when I first started. So a little bit does go a really long way. Yeah, it does. So I'm just working my paint. I have my water bottle out. Um, I've got a nice smooth effect here on this store that I really like. So I'm kind of going with it. Cool. And if you wanted to leave this a little grungy, you could. I mean, you just don't wipe back as much. Very true. Very true. Yeah, you absolutely could. So you can, con you just have that control. You know, yeah. I couldn't wipe this back even if I wanted to, to be that clean. So it gives you the, it gives you the option. Right. So I could leave it a little, you know, more aged look if I wanted to, or I can just totally wipe it off. Yeah. What do you use for the clear coat? Barb, you could use any of the Dixie Belle top coats, depending on how your piece is going to be used. Gator Hide is the most durable of the options, but they also have a clear top coat that comes in a flat finish, a satin finish, and a gloss finish. Um, so Dixie Belle is saying that you don't have to wax or seal at all after you put that voodoo gel stain over the top of your piece, too. Yeah, you don't really have to. I just thought because this is a piece that's going to get a lot of wear and tear in the seat because I'm really not going to use the gel stain on the seat or where the little feet go on the on the footrest. So for me, that's the only reason why I'm using the gator hide is because for me, this piece I think is going to get a lot of loving. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> you know, someone me. could put it though. Someone could put it in the corner of a of a country kitchen, and it would just be like a rustic accent piece too. That wouldn't have to feel it at all. <laughs> <laughs> I just see this as a great little first uh, birthday cake smash. Ooh. Oh, yeah. Like for t in a photographer, a photographer could yeah. use those for, yeah. Totally see that. Um, I have three kids, and the only one we did a cake smash for was my youngest, because that's when the cake smash thing got big, and I'm so glad we have it. They are the best pictures. Aw. We did it for both of our boys, or my boys, who are now. How old are your boys? Oh, my goodness. I just saw the oldest. He just graduated from high school. Hallelujah. And um, he's going to be, <laughs> yeah, so we're getting him ready for college now. He'll be going off to Stetson University here in Florida. Congratulations. Thank you. Wow. And the youngest will be I in 10th grade. <laughs> Um, with, as a mom to really young kids, I see um, your kids going off to college as an accomplishment for them and for you. Oh, thank you. <laughs> if, yeah. you knew, if you only knew. If, if you make it to that point. Oh, I was. A, it was just last Friday, and I was. I had no eye makeup on after the ceremony. I, as soon as I sat down, and they're playing like real sentimental videos of the kids before they even come out. I'm blubbering and crying already. Yeah. Well, I mean, see, I'm on the opposite end of that. Like, my uh, mine are just getting out of school for the year, for summer. Yeah. And, like, they have short timers, and I'm ready to, like, strangle somebody at the end of the day. <laughs> I'm sure you remember those days, too. 
Oh, yeah. My neighbors used to laugh at me because they're like, wow, we didn't know what you looked like when you stood straight up. You were always hunched over chasing after them. Yeah, and, and boy energy is like something else, too. It's crazy. Yeah. You know, this Dixie Bell Bell brush, not to change the subject, I haven't had no, to please. reload this brush. It is so chock full of the gel stain. I haven't had to reload it. Yeah, you know what? Same. I'm using the same brush. Uh -huh. and, and I agree. I'm just putting like a tiny drop of the paint on and it goes so far. Yeah. It Here, really I'll show is. you guys. Because I'm reloading right now. Like you can't even see what I'm putting on there. That's my reloaded. Oh, I'm a little darker on that side. Let me go back to this side. I'm just working this paint with some water, with some, um, a fairly dry brush. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's really pretty, Luann. Oh, thank you. Yes, you guys need this brush. You need this it's a brush. Great brush. How about if, you guys, if we hit... If we hit jackpot, if we hit jackpot on the wheel today when we spin to win, I think this brush should be included. Oh, I think they should include this brush. I like it. Um, Judy, I did not seal my piece first. This is raw paint. And I did that because I want this dirtier look. I want the paint to stick. Um, I don't want it to wipe back. I want this smeary, smudgy effect. Scrubby soap is a great brush cleaner. Mm -hmm. Dixieville carries scrubby soap too, you guys. Go try it. Um, do I still have her? I lost volume, but I think we're I think we're back. I gotta pause on mine. I think it was my wife. I cut out for a second. Um yeah, Luann. We're in, we're in the Florida rainy are season. Are you? What's yeah, your so what's your not rainy season? <laughs> you have I don't know. Think, when is our not rainy season? Uh, December, January. Yeah, December, January. No hurricanes in, 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 in Christmas time. <laughs> okay. That's good. I'm in California and we're in the hot, sticky phase. Yeah. Like, like hot. I'm just hot right now. Um, do you want to give away some paint, you guys? Let's, yeah. You guys want to spend some time? I haven't seen it. You guys, um, Dixie Bell has lives every day on their page in the month of June. Um, and I haven't seen anyone get the jackpot. I'm dying for someone to get the jackpot. Yeah, we'll um, be live again on June 4th, but I promise I won't be like not getting online properly. I'll, I'll get it all figured out. But now that you've done it one time, I mean, if you ever do it again, it would be cake, right? Yeah, I've done the go live by yourself, but I think it's when there's the nuance of both of us. It, I don't know. That's what happened, so. Yeah, and then, you know, my sound got bad because they were playing in the broadcast. It was just hard. It is hard. It stresses me out. But I'm glad we made it on. I'm glad I got to paint with you. I think your chair is adorable. Oh, thank you. I'm so glad I got to paint with you as well. I was like, let Brandy go. She can do it. I'll be back later. I was just trying to stall, like anything. Um. So, you guys, let's give away some paint. Yep. Let's give away some paint. Spin the wind. Um, Lynn Marie, Lynn Marie, are you there? Lynn Marie, you're going to spin to win. Come talk to us. Are you still on? Lynn Marie, I see you right there. Lynn is my middle name. Marie is my sister's. You're speaking to me. Oh, you ready? Here we go. This is for Lynn Marie. I gave it a good one. Ready? What is it? 16. I can't read. It's backwards. 16 ounces of paint. Oh, that's a good one. These are my favorite size. I'm not going to lie. I like the 16 ounces. Lynn Marie, you get to go shopping on the Dixie Bell site. Go pick a color. You won 16 ounces of paint in the color of your choice. I would like to recommend Stormy Seas. Stormy Seas. So, um, Luann, so your mm -hmm. shop, you guys, once again, go in to Facebook and like Luann's page at Rustic Journeys. Um, mm -hmm. She has a shop in... Uh, I'm going to say your, your city wrong. Oviedo? Oviedo. If you're in Spain, it's Oviedo. But in, in over here, it's just Oviedo. Because <laughs> okay. we say it wrong, I'm sure. So in Oviedo, Florida, if you guys go to the Dixie Bell website, you can type in your zip code, and it will tell you your nearest local Dixie Bell retailer. 
Um, and just like what Luann talked about with her workshops, um, they're there, they're trained to help you pick out the products that you need for your project. So um, congratulations to Lynn Marie. Luann, I can't wait to see your chair when it's done. Thank you. We're, yeah, we're going to be in the home stretch. I owe you a big fat hug because I know I've been stressed out these past couple weeks. And so thank you for being so patient with me. Thank you. <laughs> um, so anyway, you guys, I'm going to let you guys go. But congratulations to Lynn Marie on your 16 ounces of paint. Thank you again to Luann from Rustic Journeys. I'm Brandy from Brush by Brandy. Bye. Thank you. Bye.